Welcome. This is Crimey Queen. And if you're joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. This is where we ignite that which comes from within us, that which makes us smile. Hence, we say the crimson light is life. So the crimson light is our journey to actualizing self-love. And of course, on this journey, we have fun with words and numbers, numerology to be precise. So here we are, of course, with this journey, our aim is to see how we can optimize the resources that are available to us, whether through thoughts, words, actions, whatever it is, trees, stones, whatever, <laughs> to get us onto this journey. But of course, as we say, we're having fun. Now, I would just love to make a point as well, because I have been um, thinking about um, my experience of realizing how many of many many millions of people have been um, controlled by a few of course it had been it all derived from this template of sacrifice and so of course it helped me to see why I struggled with um, certain elements or or sentiments or traditions and practices in in Christianity because I was brought up as a Christian as well so I had this um, challenged um, journey in of course trying to make sense of those practices and beliefs with what was happening and um, within me from within me and how I was really meshing those um, internal values which I couldn't even really identify which was which really and the external values of what people really wanted from me or expected from me so really it was the job of knowing what to expect from myself and others or define the two. Oh, that's another story but however I'm making this point in the sense that that experience that I had, um, which is um, termed in one of my presentations as a wonderful or difficult experience, something to that, but a wonderful insight. So it's one of those um, presentations. And it really got me feeling, in fact, I must admit, I was angry and I hadn't been this angry for a while. And of course, it had taken me back to realizing why I was angry. Of course, it was a state of, it had touched home, so to speak. It had touched home. And it's really, I had forgotten for a while the script, if you like, that I had written. I had written the script for myself, like many of us do rewrite the scripts and today coming from the park it's a wonderful thing when i go to the park or you know i'm in the green space the reflections are so wonderful so i realize even i'm reflecting on the crimson light the two volumes a bridge to actualizing self-love and getting onto the bridge of actualizing self-love that i had written the script i had been an active participant in that script and because, of course, I had written that script, I had been unaware that I had enrolled for that part of the script to discovering, to discovering that too. Because each time I said, I want to know because I want to grow. I was reinforcing with the cosmic my willingness to participate in that dimension and so it's a thing that you ask for something and when you get it you think well that's not what I asked for yes that's what you did ask for yes so I am um, now understanding Sometimes we don't quite know what we ask for too, or we feel we do. I think it is really the idea of remembering and forgetting that you remembered or remember that you forgot to remember. Mm, 
however yeah so basically that's what I believe that I had experienced and when mm, that's another thing that came to me from the word from the park as well I saw the word experience I thought mm, experience and I saw mm, expense so there's always an expense with experience there's not an experience without expense mm, 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 mm. It is the intricacy of words and deeds that really get us like we don't know head from, well, we don't know heads from tails. And I was working that out too in my head. The word head, a head. Well, these are all going to be presentations, of course. But, you know, I have fun at the same time. But really... It really dawned on me that the magnitude of what I call injustice to others is really that we as a whole have taken on roles. It's like there's been this big game. It's a huge game that people are, they don't even know who's playing what part they just know oh i'm gonna play that part you, you, because a name like crimey queen sounded fine you know crimey or you hear about agatha christie or something you think, mm, i can do that but you actually had not prepared yourself enough <laughs> and you go are you ready for the role yes i'm ready i'm ready <laughs> That would be me, yes. However, in all seriousness, because it's a game, it's a serious game. And I had to realize or really take into account for me to play that role that I signed up for. It is important that I keep my head on my head well on my shoulders on my neck keep my head wherever and to be able to still find the joys in life to see my way through because that's what free is about the three number the m letter the w letter the U, the C, all these little curves, you know, it's like these um, waves. That's the word. It's the waves and it's the vibration of those waves. Mm, 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 mm. I think I just got an element of like some scientists. <laughs> but that's what I just saw. And it just feels so right. That's exactly what it is. It's how we maneuver in that vibration. In that, it's like I could just see a lot of, you know, freeze and they stick together and form eights and they like eights on top of eights and freeze and they like zeros and they're having fun because they swim in some place. So it's really. To learn how to do that, go with the flow, so to speak, as we saw with water, what happened with water, that was an off, awesome, awesome with the W and the M, awesome and the E, which keeps us centered, five, awesome experience. It's as if water wanted to really express its power, its impact, its ability to break me down, <laughs> to really show that no matter what walls we think we might build, which is a very good comfort in itself, it can really sit through. So, in fact, I was having, I began this presentation to say, well, you know, perhaps um, 
because I remember saying if there was one presentation I want the world to see, that would be have to be it. But when I started this presentation now, I'm thinking, well, you know what? I would rather <laughs> this one be that um, the presentation showed to the world because I love the idea of having this high vibration, this laughter, because of course we have seen the correlation with laughter and smile. They both equal number 22 and really, hmm, master, that's what Jesus was about. Why not us? So that's my thing here, you know, just want to make sure, yeah. So I'm really thinking, well, perhaps I, well, again, now I'm doing this, I'm seeing it's the element of control instead of just accepting that I was in the moment and that is it, you know. So, in fact, I just realized this is a realization now. Let's just leave it at that, you know, but I am now... Um, I am now realizing the um, essence of that um, presentation that had really showed me what had happened here with us as a people. And I know that that has boomeranged as well. So it's not even just us as a people. It has just been us all as a people and however you want to um, interpret that I mean everybody even those who have caused harm unto others you have to say forgive them for they know not what they do well there was a kind of consciousness or who knows who knows you know but um, it's really looking at a way of moving forward, moving forward, which reminded me while I was checking on one of the presentations I've done. And I was saying, it's how do we get onto this part, onto the right side? And now I realize as well, which I'm going to have other um, presentations on, I had issues about right and wrong. Which is the right side? Which is the wrong side? Because for me to admit that there really was a wrong side, so to speak, it would mean what we say the wrong is the left. Do I get rid of my left arm, my left hand, and do I just go on in life with this um, right hand? And when I turn this way, which is right? And when I turn that way, which is right? And, you know, and, you know, or if I'm upside down, which is right? Whatever it is, you know, it's just that thing I realize. According to um, Ecclesiastic, the writer, I think it was King Solomon or one of them said, there is nothing right Oh, I think his word was good or bad. He didn't say right or wrong. Good or bad under the sun. But the mind maketh it so. In actual fact, let's use simple language. We are what we think. If we think something is bad, it is bad. If we think it is good, it is good. Good and bad are conditions that we have created to make sense of ourselves so this is what i'm now remembering to hinge on while i respect that there are aspects of this good and bad that really helps us to elevate elevate into new dimensions into higher dimensions there is an innate um, element in us that wants to be realized for its potentiality for its full potential come on abraham maslow just give me the words here right now to actualize self-actualization but i am actualizing self for love well i suppose i had to demonstrate the feminine side or whatever attribute that i could put alongside abraham maslow's but it's okay it's again teaching ourselves how to be self-accepting mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, isn't that delicious? Okay. Well, so mouth watering, mouth watering, mouth watering. I'm going to conclude on this presentation here. And of course, I do go with ideas of you know so many things to convey and share because this is how we do it we share to actualize in self love okay in the meantime stay blessed stay bright and stay ignited mm, i bow to you namaste love you okay and spill over with love this is it this is it <laughs>